Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on modulus function. Here is the exam question. Given that k is a positive constant, part a on separate diagrams gets the graph with equation part 1 y equal k minus 2 modulus x. Part 2 y equal modulus 2x minus k over 3. Show and each gets the coordinates in terms of k of each point where the graph meets or cuts the axes. Ladies and gents, please pause the video. Have a go at part a, part 1, part 2. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A, part 1. So we want to sketch y equal k minus 2 modulus x. I'm going to start by finding the y-intercept. So for the y-intercept, I need to substitute x equal 0. This implies that y is equal k minus 2 multiplied by modulus of 0, which gives me k minus 0, hence y is equal k. That is the y-intercept. Okay, so as coordinates, we can write 0, k. Now I'm going to find the x-intercepts. So I've got x-intercepts. For this, I need to substitute y equals 0. This implies that k minus 2 modulus x is equal 0. We can generate two equations. The first one is k minus 2 x equals 0, equation 1. And the second equation is k minus minus 2 multiplied by x equal 0, equation 2. We can solve both of them. So let's start off with equation 1. We've got k equal 2x, hence x is equal k over 2. Moving on to the second equation, we can simplify this as k plus 2x equals 0. So we've got 2x equal minus k. Hence, x is equal minus k over 2. So the x-intercepts are minus k over 2, 0, and k over 2, 0. Right, so I've got the y-intercept and the x-intercepts. Now I'm going to work out the coordinates of the vertex of this graph, the vertex. I can start by rewriting this equation as y equal minus 2, in modulus, I can put x plus 0, and on the outside, I've got plus k. You can treat this as a quadratic incomplete the square form. When we have a quadratic incomplete the square form, we are able to extract the turning point. So see this as a quadratic incomplete the square form. So we've got x plus 0 equals 0. So the x coordinate of the vertex is x equals 0. The y coordinate of the vertex is the outer term. So that is positive k. So the vertex will have um, coordinates 0, k. Notice that the vertex is precisely the y-intercept. OK, now we need to determine the shape of the graph. If we have a mod x, where a is a constant, if the a is greater than 0, we've got a v-shape. If the a is less than 0, we've got upside down v-shape. So a positive and a negative modulus. Now over here, the a is minus 2. It is less than 0. So this is the shape that the graph will take. Now I'm going to sketch the graph. So here is my coordinate grid. x-axis, y-axis. The y-intercept and the vertex is at 0k. OK, and we know that the x-intercepts are at minus k over 2, 0, and at k over 2, 0. And we've got this shape over here, so I can sketch in the graph. So my graph looks something like this. So that there is the graph y equal uh, k minus 2 modulus x. This completes part 1 of part a of the question. Let's have a look at part A, part 2 of the exam question. So we are now on part 2. For part 2, I want to sketch y equal modulus 2x minus k over 3. The first step is to sketch y equal 2x minus k over 3. So we're going to sketch y equal 2x minus k over 3 as a starting point. For the y-intercept, I can substitute x equal 0. This implies that y is equal to multiplied by 0 minus k over 3. 
So y is equal minus k over 3. So the y-intercept is 0 minus k over 3. Now I'm going to find the x-intercept. So for the x-intercept, I need to substitute y equals 0. So this implies that 2x minus k over 3 is equal 0. Now I can rearrange to work out x. So I've got 2x equal k over 3, hence x is equal k over 6. So the x-intercept will be k over 6, 0. Right, so now I'm going to sketch the graph y equal 2x minus k over 3. So here is the graph. My y-intercept is 0 minus k over 3. My x-intercept is k over 6, 0. And the gradient is 2 is positive, so we have a positive gradient, so the graph will look something like this. Okay, straight line, y equal 2x minus k over 3. Now, to get the modulus of this graph, I need to reflect everything below the x-axis in the x-axis. In other words, all of that part over there gets reflected upwards, and we will get the modulus graph. So the modulus graph will look something like this. x-axis, y-axis, we've got um, k over 6, 0, that y-intercept now becomes 0, k over 3. Okay, so it will be somewhere here. Somewhere over here. So 0, k over 3. Okay, so this is the graph y equal modulus 2x minus k over 3. This completes part A, part 2 of the exam question. Moving on to part B of the exam question. Hence, so we have to refer back to our answer in part A. Find, in terms of k, the values of x for which the modulus of 2x minus k over 3 is equal k minus 2 modulus x, giving your answers in simplest form. Please pause the video, have a go at part B. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. Now, if we are solving uh, this equation, the solution to this equation is technically the point of intersection between these two graphs. In other words, these two points over here. Okay, so we're trying to work out the corresponding x values for these points of intersection that satisfy this equation. So in part b, we are solving modulus 2x minus k over 3 equal k minus 2 modulus x. Right, so we need to set up two equations. First equation is obtained by taking the standard without the minus in front of the bracket. So take this as a standard. So we've got 2x minus k over 3 equal k minus, take this as a standard, 2x. That is the first equation. So for this first equation, we can rearrange to work out the value of x. So if I rearrange, I get 4x equal 4 over 3k. Now I can divide through by 4. So if I do this, I get x equal k over 3. Okay, now I'm going to set up a second equation. So my second equation is taken by introducing a minus in front of 2x minus k over 3. Equal k minus, introduce another minus in front of the 2, multiplied by x. Okay, so that is my second equation. I'll start by expanding the bracket. So if I do this, I get minus 2x plus k over 3 equal, the two negatives become positive, so k plus 2x. So now I can rearrange. I get minus 4x is equal 2k over 3. Dividing through by minus 4 gives me x equal minus k over 6. Okay, so if I go back to this graph here, I can see that for this point, the x value would be minus k over 6. And for this point, the x value will be k over 3. Therefore, the solutions uh, to the modulus equation 
mod 2x minus k over 3 equal k minus 2 mod x will be x equal um, k over 3 or x equal minus k over 6. So that there, ladies and gents, completes part B of the exam question and this teaching video, pure mathematics exam question on modulus function. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.